having an issue with the VRO. Now that I've taken the cover off, I'm gonna disconnect the VRO tank and make sure that doesn't leak oil everywhere. And then I'm also gonna follow the wires from my VRO tank up. I had to unscrew this here, I've already done this. So I unscrewed this so I could get in here. I followed the wires up. I took the ground, unscrewed this here. I removed the ground. And then I'm gonna remove this as well. So we're just disconnecting those wires from the VRO. So I've disconnected those wires. The VRO tank is totally separate now. Um, next thing I had to do is I went to my fuel pump and I'm gonna follow, there is an electrical wire here. You're gonna follow these down and you'll find the plug here. You're gonna have to disconnect that from its plug as well. And I'm just gonna bury that because I'm not gonna use it anymore. Then I went to the parts, auto parts store, and I got a plug so that I can plug over this empty VRO. Some people say use the old cord and stick a screw in it, but I just bought a little rubber cap here, so I'm gonna plug this up, keep any dirt and debris out of there just in case somebody else wants to use this later. And I have capped that. I'm gonna re connect my fuel line, put my cover back on, remove the VRO tank, and then I'm going to pre-mix all my fuel now. After finding how many gallons of fuel I had in the tank, I used the conversion on my oil and just was mixed at a 50 to 1, and I added the oil that I needed to make the fuel mixture correct. And I put a little extra in just to make sure, since I didn't want to be running it dry. And now I can remove this.